everyone, I'm Kyle Hill, science editor of Nerdist.com. By the numbers, Godzilla is one of the biggest on-screen monsters ever. The legendary kaiju has teeth four times larger than a T-Rex's, footprints longer than most whales, and a total mass greater than one and a half Titanics. With stats like those, it's no wonder that Brian Cranston is so freaked out. But could a massive reptile this size actually exist? Scientifically, it's less citywide destruction and more Godzilla immediately collapsing and turning into jelly. In 21 different movies since its film debut in 1954, Godzilla has been portrayed as a massive, dinosaur-like creature, towering above buildings and spewing radioactive breath. Size like that comes at a price. According to biologist Michael Dexter, when an animal weighs as much as a battleship, no bone structure in nature could hold it up. This kaiju would crumple, knees exploding like sledgehammered watermelons. In large creatures, circulation is a problem. Giraffes, for example, use enormous pressures to run their blood up to their brains. They've even evolved a structure at the base of their brains to diffuse that pressure so they don't pass out when bending over to drink. A lizard Godzilla size, without any of the same adaptations, would probably pass out if it simply turned its head around too fast. So, a real Godzilla would rip itself apart while walking and blow its own head off with blood pressure. The king of the monsters is therefore made out of some biological material that is nearly indestructible. But Godzilla would also have an incredible reaction time. Larger animals such as whales have nerves that are so long it takes a few seconds for information to travel their whole body length. Godzilla would have the same problem. If Brian Cranston tugged on Godzilla's tail, for example, the kaiju wouldn't even sense it for at least a few seconds. How much energy is behind a tail slap from something Godzilla's size? Let's guess that Godzilla's tail is one-third the weight of its body, or 30,000 tons. Next, let's estimate that the tail can swing as fast as a thresher shark's, an animal that also uses its tail offensively, or roughly 80 miles per hour. Putting all that into kinetic energy, a tail slap from Godzilla is equivalent to 8,000 pounds of TNT exploding at once. As a concept, unless you are the king of the monsters, of course, massive kaiju don't really work. Nature seems to have a limit on how big things can get. However, maybe the most amazing part of the Godzilla fiction is that dinosaurs really could exist today. In fact, they do. Thanks to what we know about evolution, we now know that modern birds are dinosaurs but don't expect them to get 300 feet tall anytime soon. Have something to add? Let us know in the comments. And make sure to check out Dan Casey's History of Godzilla. And to see even more from Godzilla Week, head to Nerdist.com.